Hello everyone, welcome back to XCOM 2, and we had to end abruptly last time because my door went, but off camera I just got some stuff done, I got the new engineer clearing debris, I equipped the the gear we got, the 15% chance to get an insta-kill on Dragonakis, and I did something on the world map, but I can't remember what. I think uh, an event popped up that said, hey, go here for intel, so I just moved there to remind me next time. I think that's all I did. We still have to finish making the radio relay here. But yeah, I'm going to do the Scorched Earth event here to get intel, because we need it. Oh, that's where I, I did. I got a war suit getting made with the Illyrium core we got from the mission we did last time as well. So here comes our first war suit. Oh, and also, Mr. Phoenix Soul Food got Fuse. So, is there anything new here? Sustain, I think, is new. If the Psy Operative takes enough damage to be killed, they are immediately put in stasis for one turn and their health is only reduced to one. This can only happen once per mission. Get that. Get that get out of jail free if something goes terribly wrong. Also, did the war suit not finish? There we go. <laughs> that looks impressive. This powered heavy battle armor grants massive damage resistance and survivability as well as wrist mounted heavy weapons. It can also generate temporary cover for allies with its powerful shield wall, wall technology. One war suit has been added. I don't have any other Illyrium core sadly so I can't do anything else. Experimental powered weapon. So those are the heavy weapon slots for the, the war suit. I don't have any cores right? Yeah. Wait, I thought it's, it told you number of cores up there. Either way, we only had the one from the mission and I just used it, so I know for a fact I have none right now. The outcome of this research and we have plasma rifles. They are going to be expensive. The aliens aren't going to be happy when they see we've got energy weapons just like theirs now. Even that, that looks like a Mass Effect, really. Did Traxxas just say, let's do Mass Effect? I'm going to bet that they're going to cost 400 supplies. Oh wait, no, hang on, it splits it across categories. Okay, they're going to be like 275 each. So there we go, that's the end game pistol, end game standard rifle, and then we've got to research the heavy weapon and the sniper. Plasma lance. Oh yeah, that's the other two things that unlocked. I guess we got corpses finally of pods and Andromedans to do. Storm gun, what is that? Oh, that'll be the shotgun. Okay, well that's only three days to get the upgraded shotgun unlocked. So sure, that we'll might trigger before our next mission. Let me quickly go see. From this technology. I'll have a report assembled Beam assembled pistols are 125. Hello, Plasma rifles are 250. I was close. I imagine the heavy weapons will be more expensive though. Alright, so we're going to tick over this intel. We got it. Located. It's only 50? Damn. Alright. Back to what we were doing. Finish building that relay. For sector 14, East Asia. Please fly properly. Is the person steering the Avenger drunk again? Is it Bradford? Let's see if we get this done before something procs. Well, Storm Gun might finish up. So aliens are on high alert, making it harder for XCOM to catch them unaware. So we might not get concealment. To be honest, as far as like hidden dark events go, meh. I have made a number of interesting Okay, we have the storm gun. Commander. Yes. Alright, let's get some story then on the Andromedan. I want to know more about them. As initially speculated by Shen, it does in fact appear that this creature is restricted to the confines of its own hulking environmental suit. Unfortunately for our troops, the suit itself is a powerful physical threat, regardless of the operator's status. As we learned with some astonishment, in the field. I'm curious what that's going to unlock. Maybe some kind of bioweapon, I guess? I also do have to remember I do have a shadow chamber thing to do, but we do also have that story mission to focus on. Yep, Tygen, be quiet. God, I love shutting him up. Alright, so we have a doctor and a major back at base. Okay, so, what is this? Aliens seek to overrun XCOM, placing extra chrysalids on each mission for a month. Ooh, that's a nasty one. Improve their threat response, guaranteeing reinforcements again. So that's, yeah. And our next retaliation mission is in six weeks, and they're going to make a new facility in three weeks. That is a lot of supplies. I would rather just quickly finish this first. Soul food is now... He, he's got to get out of jail free. Soul steel. Soul fire transfers half of the damage done back to the Psy operative as health. Yes. There's so many different Psy powers in this one. They're, they've got such high utility as a result. 
We're reading you. So more supplies per month. Supply drop is available. Yes, I know. It's right next door, actually. So now we can hopefully make contact. It only costs 30 intel now. Yeah, perfect. Alright, we're getting the supply drop first, which probably means the gorilla ops might trigger. But this would also give us enough to buy those plasma guns. The Andromeda autopsy is going to finish. I am sure you will find the results to be as intriguing as I do, Commander. Proximity mines. This armored environmental suit is capable of functioning in combat well hmm. after the original wearer has expired is remarkable. I must consult with Shin for further study into this unusual behavior. All right, let's hear about sectopods. From what I've been told, our troops took to calling this large robotic unit a sectopod under the initial assumption that it was being controlled by a sectoid pilot. On closer inspection, we can see that is not the case. Not unlike the mechanized advent units, which were likely derived from the sectopod itself, this machine seems to be entirely autonomous. And a big pain in the ass as well. Okay. So did we finish getting the supplies and having things take over? I'm gonna have to go to the map just to hear that he's done. Actually, no, we'll finish it. Good. Ignore. Ignore. Back out, because now we have, what, 400 supplies? Yeah. I am going to buy the better standard guns, because I want my firepower to go up, so. We're going to buy plasma guns, or sorry, plasma rifles. I do still have enough to get the shotguns, or I could get the pistols, but I can't get both. The dog is annoyed at something, or I could get one of those hell weaves. Hmm. We'll take... We'll take storm guns. It leaves us with 93, with which we could maybe get... EMP bomb? Organic enemies are immune. Uh, forces shut down, that's not good enough. What I think we could do is go to Guerrilla Warfare and get an upgrade. We can only afford Vulture, which gives us more drops. I probably should have got that a long time ago, so let's just get it. Alright, and I guess that means we're doing another black site. Unless something pops while I make contact with this region. Setting course for but this black site is worth three pips, office. maybe even four if it takes over while I'm doing this. So it's going to be a high value target. Well, Adjusting black sites in general are also long missions. Oh, a landed UFO, never mind, we're doing this instead then. Which is good for supplies. Codex, Elite, Shieldbearer, Andromedon, Sectopod, oh god. Okay, it's given us all the worst stuff. And I remember the last UFO mission I did. And I almost died in it because US I think there's receipt. always a squad that you can't really see until you get to the thing you're supposed to disable. Deliberately because the game wants to kind of screw you over, try to screw you over. That's right next to the next story mission as well. I promise I will do that soon, it's just I want to get stronger. So, this is the team we used last time, and they're doing okay. Now, I was considering... Yeah, I'll take away... You can make utility items available. Actually, for a UFO mission, no. I was going to bring Reaper to start getting him levels, because Yuki's maxed out, but for this mission, I might need her heal everybody skill. We'll keep CR as the sectopod killer. Do I have anything better I can give you than a nano vest, now that you've got, like... Your get-out-of-jail-free when you die? I don't think so. Probably just as good having the health then. I was going to give him the battle scanner, but now nah, you're fine. Okay, so are we bringing this team? Do I need two heavies for this mission? We're fighting sectopods, so potentially. Although currently the only people taking advantage of my new guns are Soul Food and Yuki. Hmm. It, it said there was a codex, right? I'm just thinking, do I need a flashbang? I believe it did. Hmm. Oh wait, no, I've got the storm guns as well, of course. I'm debating not taking me on this mission and taking someone else with a better gun. But I've got flashbangs and those gas grenades are pretty good. Oh wait, also I have the new suit to put on. Well, CR is probably more valuable than I am right now. Pardon me, so... To go to loadout. And we're going to give you the war suit. Provide high cover to squad mates wherever you stand. Uh, what does that say? Something or attacking will cancel it? Moving or attacking will cancel. So it's very similar to a mech skill in the expansion for the first one. 
So, it's going to put you to plus two armor. Oh, that's badass looking. Heavy power armor, the war suit. This is as tough and strong as we can make it, with plenty of power for handling heavy weapons. I want more of them, so I hope we get at least one Illyrium Corp doing this. So yeah, that makes CR tank area, give him an extra pip of armor so he's on par with me now. There's no extra slots or anything. I'm fine with you having the rocket launcher. So other than that, I didn't make anything else. I will bring me for the grenades more so than anything else. Plus, I just got that skill where I can fire a grenade and still do something as long as the grenade is the first action. Alright, this is going to suck because UFO missions are really hard in this one. But at least I'm stronger than last time. Although last time it didn't have sectopods and Andromedans. But if I'm mind controlled an Andromedan, then I'm, I'm good for the mission. Begin mission. And I've got stasis. Stasis is such a fallback thing, it's just so good. Secure the disabled UFO. Secure any UFO for supplies. So it's not intel, it's just supplies. But supplies is fine, that means I can buy more guns. It's a shame I don't have as many cores just to get like randomised loot, because I'm pretty sure there's still a bunch of stuff I haven't found just because you, you can only get them from random results. Although, don't get me wrong, the gas bombs are really, really good. Alright, let's go stop the Reapers. UFO site coordinates locked in. That is really Move close. The area, all Which is good. How many turns do we get? Oh, wait. If it's like last time, it takes like two turns and then it will say, Oh no, we've got a distress beacon. You've got to go turn it off. So, whatever. Right, what is your new skill again? What is your Reaper skill? A devastating chain melee attack. Ah, okay. You have to do that in melee. Got it. Dragon Akis can run up to that full cover. Good see if he can off. spy any enemies. I'm determined to rank him up, by the way, because... Oh, right, okay. So there's our team that we're going to be jumping next turn, assuming they come towards me. I'm determined to get Dragon Akis ranked up, because we are talking about this in the Discord chat a little while ago. The, the sniper tree in this game is kind of garbage. And it isn't just because the pistol one is good. I mean, the pistol one is really, really good. It's that they went too far with the nurse for snipers because snipers focusing on the sniper rifle were too OP in Enemy Within. It's true, they were. Without a doubt. Too strong. Absolutely too strong. But they went too far in the opposite direction with this one. The pistol tree is just better. And in general, I suppose, just not bothering with snipers. Having another grenadier or another ranger could probably do more utility-wise. And that's a little bit of a shame. Affirmative. There is one more class coming in one of the DLCs. So they've got some... And my bet for that is it's going to be Shiv 2.0. That's my guess. And it's going to be like our own customizable advanced mech. Got it. Moving. I'm not sure what else they could do that kind of fits the theme unless it's a turncoat alien, I guess. But that's not a class though, that's a species. So, what does this do again? Let me just read the description. Provide high cover to squad mates whenever you... St oh, yeah. You, you just become a movable cover. Yeah, I remember how it works as the mech, so I presume it's the exact same thing almost. Scanning. So hopefully they'll walk towards us. We're not getting to see. And we'll probably have... Maybe it's after you get... Oh, they walked away. Maybe it's after you get seen that the distress beacon gets triggered. Headed there now. It's so awkward when it's a where did they go? When it's a codex that's in the first squad you see because you have to bloody flashbang. Go, go, go. Now my ideal here is Dragonakis stays on the high ground to just snipe things from this UFO. Hopefully as they funnel out the door. Move, move, move. I still want to do some big moves. They might just be I assume they just walk down there and they might walk back up. As long as they don't flank anybody when they walk back up the cliff, we will not get instantly alerted. Move, move, move. So that's what I'm hoping for. Why are my two heavies the ones at the back? Let's do this. Come on, Mr. Warsuit. Turn four. So that's our move. Hopefully they will wander back up right in front of us. Overwatch. Eyes on the prize. That's a hissing. Okay, um... Well, if I move Dragonakis to this tree, that's him in a great position for quite a while. You still can't see them, huh? Also, is that doors? Ah, oh, that is doors. Right. 
because the distress beacon will have to turn off will probably right next to be right next to rather that power core. I'm worried about moving someone to there, but I still think I'm gonna. But who? Who can I move there that will still get turned? CR's off by one square. I'm off by one square. So who it is then? On the move. There they are. Oh, did I get seen? Oh, come Cover's on. Blown. That's some bullshit. He was facing the wrong way for a start. Well, I still have height advantage, apart from for that guy, I guess. And I only moved with two people who still have an action, so that's actually okay. What is this again? Oh yeah, fuse. Destroy someone's grenade. It's only going to be a pistol shot. 75, 54... Or I could just, you know, grenade. The codex is kind of out of sight, which is an irritant. I reckon that tree's not going to get destroyed by this grenade, even though it says it's going to... Let's see if it happens. Oh, I'm totally wrong. Okay. There is definitely instances where cover should be destroyed and doesn't. Is that cover? That is cover. Well then, you could just run and gun and remove this awkward guy here and then I just need to deal with them down there and I have the height advantage so if either of them are Sith I win by default. Ooh, 100% chance to... Oh, that's too good a shot to ignore. No, take the shot on him down there. Oh, I like the new storm gun. The storm gun is enjoyable. Who's keeping score? I'm keeping score. That was one kill. Alright, Yuki. You can take this person out. I mean, I, I suppose Underway. it doesn't really matter where you're, you're standing in regards to a codex because they can flank you from wherever, so just go where you can get the kill. 12 crit! Oh, yes. Plasma guns are good. Who'd have thunk it? Alright, so. I could try and take control of a codex, but if I get control... I can't take control of an Andromedan. Plus, I don't know whether copies of her would actually be under my control. So, do I waste a flashbang or do I just try and kill her and her copies? I'm going to try and kill her and her copies. I'd rather save my flashbangs. Also, I forgot to change the order my equipped grenades were in, so I have two flashbangs, I just realised. That's perfect! Now both clones will have one HP. Right? Yeah. I have two people to have a turn with, and there's two clones left, so as long as nobody misses, we're good. Not a problem. If that means I have to flamethrower you, I, I'll flamethrower you. 70%, that's not good enough. I'm gonna burn you. This might burn a little. That's a strange camera angle for it. Oh, today I learned codexes are immune to fire. Screw you, codexes. Game, game please. You better not miss CR. I should have shot with CR first, actually, because he has hollow targeting. You notice that the blue screen rounds actually does add blue, like, speckles to the shot. So the codex on 1 HP survived because of BS, but that's fine. We have our expert healer. Oh, and there we go. Six turns. That's not a lot. Oh, also, the codex did nothing? You need to get inside that ship and shut down the signal before they send their whole fleet after us. Now, this is the point where the mission becomes difficult. In fact, you know what, in case there's any bullshit regarding the sect pod, let's just do our in-progress save right now. I still can't see the sec... there, uh, the... codex. Let's move down there. No, I'm not in cover. Hopefully it won't matter. Where are they? Hell, uh, you know what, it probably... Uh, in fact, yeah, I know where it did. It teleported inside the UFO and has now joined another squad. That's what it's done. Let's do this! So hopefully this turn I'll get everybody more or less ready to breach these doors. And then next turn is going to be messy as hell. Just absolute mess. CR, how close can you get? Yeah, just run Getting it. it done. Yeah, everybody needs to get in position for a breach bang and clear next turn. Moving out. Or maybe I'll skip one more turn kind of preparing because I don't like how many people I've had to run here. Soul food, you can get down to there. That's fine. Copy that. Dragonacus, I'd like you to remain in high cover, but you're not going to get any shots from where you are. Um, get down there. Moving out. Yeah, UFO mission was also not a good mission to bring a sniper-focused sniper to. Well, I can hear the sector pod. I think that means he's over on my left. So if we breach here, there's bound to be a squad here, and then there's probably a squad in here. 
I do not want to breach this turn. I want to breach next turn. That still should give me enough turns. Go, go, go! And CR needs to be up the front because if the sectopod is actually in here, he is my means by which to kill it. No, no, no! Where can I put Dragonacus where he'll get a shot if the door opens? There, right? Yeah, he'd get a shot from there. Rolling out! Let's put Soul Food Rolling around there. Position. Because he might need to stasis something next turn if we open this and there's an Andromedan right in our face. And I can move, say, here, so Absolutely. maybe I can do my first action as a grenade and still get to do something else. On Overwatch. I'm on it. Moving to Overwatch. Enemy activity. Oh, there's an alien in there. Who'd have guessed it? Although that noise didn't come oh, from there, so that's actually the, the UFO's on fire. Actually, you know what? That was an Andromedan. He just stomped his way through that scenery. Okay, let's trigger him. Two codexes. Don't know why I couldn't say that. Perfect that they've all stayed together, though. Sit. Where are you going, you bastard? Now, the unfortunate thing about this scenario is I don't want to move in this turn because I, I'm almost certain there's more enemies. Now, I want this to not hit any of my team. Is is that the case here? Because it's it looks like it is because they're protected by walls. Heads down. Also, this shouldn't end my turn because of my my thing I got. Disoriented. Yes, okay. So the Codexes can dive us turn and we can stasis the Andromedan. Salvo, yes. So what if I wanted to launch my gas bomb in this turn? Oh, but it's... How long does it last again? It's like two turns. 41 on the Andromedan. 37 on her. Jesus. Hmm... Is that going to hurt CR? Again, I, I don't know if the wall is actually protecting him. It looks like it is. Grenade! It better. Otherwise I'm, about, otherwise, I'm about to shred my own teammate's armor. Outright killed one. Left the other one on 3 HP. Okay. Now, Dragon Agus. 50-50 chance to kill the Codex. I'll take that. Nice, that made up for last time. So now we just have the Andromedan to deal with, assuming I don't move in further. CR, open the door and make sure you can't see any other squad over here. You can't, okay. You've got a 67% chance, or I can guarantee it. With... Oh wait, no. Why can't I use Hail of Bullets? Insufficient ammo. I could freely reload and then do it. Or I could just blow up his wall of cover and some of his armor. Like that. Oh, I don't want to hit the... Yeah, I have to be careful what I hit in here, though, because I think it's all worth supplies. Maybe, like, there? I hate aiming these things indoors. Ah! Screw it. I don't want to do it. Uh, we're going to freely reload so that I can guarantee a hit on the Andromedan. With hail of bullets. We're going to go. Shredded 2 armor, did 3 damage, broke a little bit more of the wall, and did haul the target on him, which was the important part. You can see him apparently, 90%. Well actually, what's your grenade throws like? Could you... Oh. That is perfect. Yes. I know I'm wasting a lot of grenades and there's still a sectopod to deal with, but these are almost as bad. So the wall is now gone. Amy. 100% chance to hit, 80% chance to crit. Remove phase one. There's phase one dead. How many is that now? That's two now. So, Sofid is the only person I've got a turn with, and you can't kill this in one turn, sadly. <laughs> oh, you can even make the grenades of corpses explode, that's good. He could do 7 damage, but that's not even... no. What's the cooldown on stasis? Doesn't say.
all it can do right now is punch people. That's actually not that bad. I'm just debating maybe I should give CR another turn because he does so good against robots. Also, maybe I want to move Yuki before she gets on fire. Actually, Amy had such a high crit chance, I assume she still has the same because the target hasn't moved. So inspire Amy and then maybe get a kill that way. I don't want to waste stasis, I need stasis for the stupid sectopod. It's only a 40% chance to crit now, sadly. That wasn't enough. So he's, he is going to get to punch somebody, fair enough. to punch Yuki. Eh. Yeah. Doesn't shred the armor, thankfully. Although I don't like the acid you've left around. Yep, I know. I know. You already said this, Bradford. Bradford. Now that was what I was afraid of. However, at least it's the start of the turn, so they get to scatter and then that's it. Oi, don't wreck your own goddamn ship. I need these supplies and whatnot. Luckily, it seems like when you get a sectopod squad, they're they're surrounded by like easy stuff. All right, so sadly you are going to need to move because you're in acid. So move. Sure thing. I got something on me. It's burning. I know it's fine. You're about to cure yourself anyway. Oh, I could have hacked the the stupid thing to get the disrupt beacon. <laughs> that would have meant leaving her out to die. So no, it's fine. I've got three turns. I know if I move her back to roughly that square, she can do it at range. So, there's no rush. We can take our time to think about this. Your chance to hit this thing is probably pretty bad because it's right in front of you, right? You've got a 100% chance to hit the sectopod, though. 76 on the Andromedan shell, 63.45. If I fire a grenade, it's only a flashbang, but still, it's a grenade. So if I fire my grenade in here, I don't think it will affect the sectopod. Oh my god, flashbangs just wreck the frame rate. Something fierce. Come on, I had it over here a second though. Come on. Come oh. Now it's saying no one's gonna get affected by that. Oh. It's only gonna affect one person. I think I'm still gonna do it because it's free. It's a free flashback. Get ready for a surprise. It also means I can't move for the rest of my turn, but I'm gonna use my turn to kill the Andromedan. Oh, it did actually catch the other guy. Perfect. That means I can focus down the sectopod this turn because their aim will be crap. Salvo, I get to do something else, and we'll be killing that with it, hopefully. 10% chance to miss. Good. Now sadly, both ways to get inside the UFO are currently blocked off. One is my own fault, and one is just him leaking his sputum everywhere. So who can you see currently? 45% chance on an elite trooper, that's... Also, why was... look at that! It made, it, think I, it made me think I was on soul food because of the camera angle. I'm actually on Amy. Hmm... Well, there is no question that CR... Oh, he needs to reload. CR needs to see the sectopod to do the brunt of the damage. It's not a free reload, right? Yeah, he only gets one. Okay, well, he's going to reload because he has to. That also confirms we're definitely using stasis this turn. And I guess he might as well just, like, rocket these guys if he can't. Oh. Maybe grenade these guys if he can actually get a beat on the target. Are you, are you serious? <laughs> He has running gun, but where could I put him? No, no, the acid burn him. If I put him there, he won't be able to see the sectopod. If I put him there, he's in poison. That's not poison, though. All right, so let's run and gun. Second move. Move there. Seems doable. No poison, no nothing. Where does that do? You can actually see everybody, including the sectopod. Let's go to chain shot and have two 100% chances to hit the sectopod for 22 to 26 damage. This could be amazing. There's 8 damage, that's not quite 22. I guess that 22 was the total, not 1. Hack defense decreased, forgot about that as well. There's Bear! And all his armor's gone too. And he has hollow targeting on him. Amy, what are you going to do? You're not immune to poison, so I can't charge you in for doing your Reaper thing, sadly. Can I, like, I could put you there to see the sectopod, but it's not cover. What's your grenade options like? You could grenade that twat there. Oh, 
Probably just shooting at him. 100% chance to shoot at the Psychopod. Alright, you know what? Take that shot. He just critted and killed it. Beautiful. Uh, I hope that didn't set off the... Oh, that's going to set off that explosive. I needed that. Oh. Ha! <laughs> I didn't even think of that. Alright, it's kind of bad the explosion's obviously taking out those fuel things so I'm going to get less supplies, but it took out the stupid distress signal thing. It, it didn't occur to me I could just blow it up. Oh, okay. Well then. 100% chance to steal his mind. 88% chance to steal his mind. Who else hasn't gone yet? Dragon X hasn't gone. 63. Well, take a 63 on the Lancer. I think that killed him, right? He didn't have a HP. Yeah. There you go. It wouldn't surprise me if there was one more squad on the map. Nice. This is the last one. Uh, it's a 100% chance to steal his mind, so sure, you why not? Although, hang on, isn't he poisoned? So he might be... he might die to poison. <laughs> You know what? It's just satisfying mind controlling an enemy after they've done it so many times to me. Oh, he even removes his disorientation because he's mine now. Oh. Commander, standard, and the codex that I left on 1 HP, I guess? Whatever happened to that? He's over there. Oh, you really shouldn't have stood next to that. I'm surprised it didn't do damage to you, though. So Amy has no ammo. Ah, that's bloody poison. Devastating chain melee. Each melee attack and hang on. So what can I actually melee attack? I can melee attack my own guy. I can melee attack him, but it goes through acid burn. I, I just want to do it to try it. Hang on, can I not plot a better route? What's the button for plotting a route again? Is it like control clicking? Oh, I could just normally move you there and then you can still run up there, right? Oh, but that's a poison square there. Hmm. Hang on. Let's do Mind Control Man's turn first. He's still got a grenade. Sadly, he can't steal that loot for me, though. Let's see if there's any other aliens over here. Hello, fellow human. I mean, fellow aliens. I'm certainly not working with the humans. Yo, odds. I'm certainly not going to drop a grenade at our feet so all of us get hit by it. No, that'd be insane! Who would do that? The madman. How terrible. There goes all your cover. I think using Reaper here could be like really funny. So again, I'm go I'll overwrite the same save in case I accidentally get Amy killed and then I won't do it, obviously. But this is just for fun because I want to see how it works. So I'm going to use Reaper. I'll make it clean. And I'm going to use Sword. And I'm going to start with my mind-controlled guy just because it's a essentially a guaranteed kill. And then I want to see what happens. Be here. There's one. Go to him next. Go to him next. Go to him next. Oh, I, I get to choose, do I? Please let me choose. Oh. You want some more? Oh, the chance to hit has gone. <laughs> I, she's on fire and poisoned. Yeah, the, the chance to hit goes way down each time you do it, though. Oh, wait, no. That one was 60 as well. I guess it must just be the poison debuff. Alright, she got two people. Just I could just do restoration to cure a poison for funsies. So, sure. Whatever you say. If everybody gets poisoned, it's fine. I'll heal them in a second. Although that does reduce the chance to hit. Wow. One core, a superior stock, a data cache, and another core. I'm glad I bought the voucher. Um, yeah. I've got Vulture, the not voucher. Upgrade. Even if he misses, follow targeting will help. Let's see, who do I want to get the kill with? We don't want to get the kill with Yuki because she's max rank. I think Soulfood would have had a level by now if he could, if he could still get levels. So I think he just gets more powers now, which is fine. That said, 5 to 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. It would have to do max damage. Hmm. Can I soften them up? No, because Yuki would get the kill. Maybe pistoling with Dragon La Dragon Akis would soften him up a bit. I'm going. Oh, 
Yeah, that's fine. Ideally, please hit it. Don't crit. Nice. Okay, so Sophie should be able to get the kill with Soul Fire now because I think that's a 100% chance to hit. Splat his brain, please. My mind is my weapon. And that should be it. Target Hopefully we've still got some supplies from this, even though a lot of it got wrecked. So one person got wounded. Who was that? Is that going to be Amy that counts as getting wounded? Oh, new record for average damage per attack. Six. Yeah, we got a lot of crits there. Just a lot. Also another mission where I got 100% success rate for my shots. Although I didn't really fire that many times, really. Used a lot of explosives. Yeah, I should have got Vulture a long time ago if it like doubles the number of drops you get per thing. So we're going to have a lot more weapon customization bits. And we have two cores. So one core is going to get used to make another war suit for me. And then I guess I could also use the other core to make the new version of the spider suit. And see how that fares. Or I could try and make a custom like heavy weapon. Or power weapon, whatever they're called now. Because they could be cool. Oh yeah, I also think that, depending on how many supplies this gives, I think we're ready for the next story mission. I'll probably do the black site first, but we're ready for the next story mission. Lightly wounded. I don't think I've ever seen that. So we've got kill zone and face off. So kill zone we're getting, which is take a reaction shot against any enemy that moves or attacks within the cone of fire. That could potentially be amazing. I keep forgetting also that my sniper focus sniper is way behind rank wise. So we are going to be taking Dragon Akis for a while now because I want to see what the best skill is. Or, well, we already know what it is, but how how useful it is compared to the pistol route because the pistol route is just so good. Four Illyrium cores, superior stock, miss shots deal three damage to the target. And a data cache, we'll have to research that. And a bunch of stuff. How many supplies do we get? 208. Excellent. Alright, before I forget, first things first, we stack up stuff in the Proving Grounds. Hey, so there's currently bugger all going on here. We want one war suit. Sounds good, Commander. We want I'll let you know as soon one as race suit. And we're going to get an experimental powered weapon. So that obviously took away quite a few supplies, but it left us with some. New orders, Commander. With which perhaps we can get a better pistol. If I'm not going to be using Tyre for a little while, I think, I think I can put off getting that. But once I am back using her, that's going to be amazing. Oh yeah, I could get one of these. 65 supplies. Proximity bomb. I wonder who can take that. Just anybody can take that. 100 supplies though. Maybe I should just hold on to the supplies. I'm not sure. Bonus health to the soldier. Anything that hits them, it, de it deals damage back and it sets them on fire with 100% guarantee. It sounds cool. I'm going to. Well, ironically, it sounds cool. I'll build one and then I'll hold on to the rest of the supplies. So, we also have customizations to do because. That's not the right place. We want to go to view soldiers. Let's see what people's guns are looking like. Oh, so the final tier doesn't offer a third slot. That's a shame. So, you've got free reloads and you've got increased aim. Taya's sniper doesn't get used enough to warrant. Hmm. You're fully kitted out. Ciara's is kitted out, so is Lenore's. So is Dragon Axe's. Nick's shotgun isn't. He's not got a good chance to miss because he's always up close. So not necessarily. I think I might need it, actually. So my miss shots still do something. Sophid's gun doesn't really need upgrades because he mostly does psychic crap. Yeah, I'll put it on my gun. Miss shots still do damage. And we're still doing research so we can't do the... the data pad yet. Our research is progressing as expected, Commander. But once we do it, what do we get? Doesn't tell us. Oh yeah, large amounts of intel. Good. All right, that is going to do it this time after we hear Tygen talking. Working under the more intense conditions found on the Avenger. Every decision, every development is of the utmost importance. There's no room for mistakes here. Yeah, I agree. All right, that is going to do it.
come back next time to see what happens. Until then, ta-da for now. Oh, be quiet, Kessel member.